Hi, in this movie we'll show how to perform the data exchange between the PC and the PLC ROM with the central processor unit CG1M network model ETN21 the model for 16 digital inputs ID211 and power supply PA202. Address of the PLC on the Omron's network is uh, 0.32.0 that corresponds to the IP address, this one. Data from digital inputs are in the field of memory CIO in the register with offset equal Zero. Usually, there are two ways to connect PLC via PC and via the driver. Trace mode allows you to use the both ways. However, we will connect to the controller using the free driver and also free SCADA. First of all, let's download and install a free SCADA Trace Mode 6 integrated development environment. And for that purpose, visit Adaster Research Group website and click on the link SCADA HMI download. OK. We launched the free Trace Mode development system and using the icon located at the left upper corner, create a new project in easy style. Let's start our project development from the layer Sources Receivers, where we describe internal register inside Amron PLC. For that, we open the menu using the right mouse button and select Group PLC. In this group, we create new subgroup. Amron IP group. Then let's create a new component Amron IP. Now we can open the created component for editing by double clicking. And we can change the name of this component to DI Digital Inputs. In order to fill the top parameters, we must recall our task. The setting device number uh, is kept by default since we will use one PLC only. Area type CIO offset 0 because it is our register number. Uh, the setting direction input and the field IP address will fill in the following way. After that, we drag and drop this component to the group channels of the node RTM1. Let's change class of the created trace mode channel with the name DI from float to hex 16, such as we will read current states of the digital inputs. For the section, we open properties, select tab flex and set on flag hex. Then close properties form. Now we will view the real-time data from PLC on operator HMI. Let's open the component screen on editing and insert the trace mode logo in the left upper corner.
in order to show states of our 16 digital inputs on our screen, we should drag and drop our channel with the name DI to the argument screen table. Note that states of our digital inputs are situated in the channel attribute real value. And now we will visualize the external data by means of such graphic element as switches. Let's select switch 4 and place it on editors field, then open internal properties. Link the right path binding field to our argument. Then set constant equal 1 for our list significant bit and note that format of the constant is hexadecimal. In order to create the remaining 15 indicators, turn to main menu Tools Replicate. Set Number of columns 8, number of rows 2, spacing 2020, direction down. Press OK. Now we have to edit all these switches. Change constant to For eight ten hexadecimal and so on. OK. Then we should save our project on disk with the name Amron UDP EN. After using this icon, we compile the project for real time monitor. This operation is needed in order to run our project in the real time mode under Trace Mode Runtime Software Real Time Monitor. In order to run our project, we shall use a profiler built in the Trace Mode development system. For this purpose, let's highlight RTM1 node on the project tree by the left button and click on icon with the running man. After, we must click the same icon to run our application. Let's start our profiler and now we can see that our graphic elements show the current states of our digital inputs and all are off. In order to change current state of the first digital input, uh, we touch by wire from a DC voltage to corresponding terminals on the model ID211. and so on. So, in few minutes we have successfully connected trace mode to the Amron PLC RADP via built-in driver and we have built a simple HMI for PC. Now we stop the profiler and finish our movie. Thanks for your attention. Bye.